interested in making these awesome bracelets, um, then first you'll need some twisties wires. If you're in the US, you can just search up um, twisties wires, or if you're in the UK, there's a link on our website to some similar wires, www.cutwheelsandcreations.com on our recommended um, products page. Um, so you can go on there and find similar wires. So to make it, you'll need three three wires. I've picked um, a dark green, a, a light green, and an aqua color. I think it'll look quite nice. Um, so after you've chosen them, you need to pick one to be your base. So like on this bracelet here, the cream color is my base. And then these two are my twisted ones. So I'm going to make the dark green my base. So basically, if you're my age or above, I'd recommend um, cutting like three quarters of the wire. Um, but for like little kids, um, you might only need like two thirds, one half sort of thing. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and fold it roughly in half and then in half again. Um, and I'll keep that crease and unfold it. So is this going to make quite a big bracelet then? Because you haven't um, trimmed this or have you trimmed these ones? Um, I'm going to trim it. Oh, yeah. I see. Okay. So you're just so folding just it to trim. Go. Yep. So um, now I can see that there's like a three quarter line. Um, right. Okay. So I can then cut three quarters. You only need to do it for the first for the first wire, um, the base wire, because on the others, if there's still wire left after twisting most of the way, then you can always just snip it at the end. Okay. So yeah, I'm going to go cut some Okay, so I'm going to snip my wire. However, if you are younger, then you should probably have adult supervision, or you can ask your parents to cut them ready to go. So I'm just going to go ahead and snip right here. Um, you kind of need quite strong scissors. I don't know if these are going to be strong enough. Um, so I just keep snipping. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to take my three quarters one. And then I'm actually going to fold it into thirds. So it's kind of already folded for me from the three quarters. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to go ahead, fold it into thirds. Um, just double check that that fits round with, um, with wire still to spare, which it does. Um, so that's when you're ready to start twisting. So then you're going to get your two other wires and line them up together. Um, and then you're just going to take the end. Um, as you can see from my other bracelets, um, you need like a clasp at the end. So you're going to leave some wire, um, because it's quite hard to adjust afterwards. So you're going to leave some wire. It's really tricky to get started, I think. So you just have to kind of hook it round and try to start twisting it. Um, so I'm just going to try and do that like that. When you've done the first twist and you're in place, um, it's easier. So then I'm just going to keep on... This is kind of the boring part, um, or the part that's takes a long time. Um, you could argue it's the fun part. You could argue it's the fun part, yes. Because this is where you're actually creating your bracelet. Yep, and you can see it like coming coming in to look good. Um, so then you're just going to start twisting and twisting and twisting. Um, and you have to go all the way around until either you have a similar thing on each side um, or you've run out of wire. And just try to make it about even on each side at the end, I think. So I'm just going to keep on um, twisting round and round and round. Um, I quite like to just have it in this position and then I can just push forward um, to twist the wire. Although some people, it, even though it's harder, they might want to actually twist the wire all the way around. Although I think that that's more hard. Um, so you're kind of twisting the base piece really and then just pushing down yeah. the wires. Yeah. I am. Okay, so that looks like quite a good technique. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And how long does it take to make the bracelet? Well, it depends how fast you are at it. Um, I'm quite fast because I've done it before. Um, if it's your first time making it, um, I'm not sure, maybe like 10 minutes, 5 minutes, 
I don't know. <laughs> it depends how, like I said, it depends how fast you are at it. And this is a great activity and for lots of ages, isn't it? Yeah, and it makes a great jewellery piece at the end. Yeah, which well. would be lovely as a gift or even just for yourself. Yeah, I've done quite a few of gifts for gifts and I've got six of my own. This is my seventh. Um, I might give it as a gift though. Um, I've actually made eight before, I believe, um, because two of them... I don't know, I've made more than that. I've given a lot away as gifts um, to family members, friends. and So you can see I've still got a lot left um, for my bracelet, so I might end up just needing to snip it when I get to a decent amount. So I'm just going to keep on twirling and twirling and twirling. Um, until I get to the end. It kind of looks like a marshmallow soul. But I think that um, these are really cool to make um, and they're cute to wear. Um, and like I said, you can give them as gifts, keep them to yourself, it's your choice. Um, so they're just a really fun activity. Um, and how much room do we need to leave at the end then? Um, enough to, because um, at the end we're just going to... Um, clasp it round, clasp them round each other, so you need to leave enough to clasp. So actually I think that I'm almost done, I might just do a couple more twists and then I'm just going to snip the end off. Okay. Um, so, yeah I'd say that's about right, um, okay. so I'm just going to slide it slightly. Okay, um, so I'm going to grab my scissors, adult supervision, if so where do you snip them? Right at the right at the edge, do you? Probably, yeah. Um, there we go. Okay, so I'm just going to make sure it's not sticking up too much and just twist it like that. Um, so then I've got the main part of our bracelet. Um, and then all we're going to do, you could do this while it's on the person's wrist or um, just on its own. Um, you're going to cross them over and then um, twist them back like that so then you've got your very own twisties bracelet so then i'm just gonna some of them can slide on your wrist i don't know if i've made this too small um i might, might need it might to have to be a present it. for your little sister yeah it might have to be oh or you can just clasp it slightly further apart is that what you're yeah, saying yeah you can clasp it slightly further apart if you want um some of them will slide on but some of them won't like this one um i don't think it'll slide on so i'm just gonna put it on my wrist um I'm going to re-clasp it, um, it's hard to do one-handed, but... You can always ask a friend or parent to help. So there you go, um, you should probably have that bit um, facing downwards on your bracelet, or bracelets, um, so there you go. Then you've got a whole um, twisties, I've got a whole twisties display on my hand. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video, um, and you can comment down below. Did you enjoy making this um, and what colours have you picked out if you've done it? So bye!